base, heal up TP, you always have this remnant, so... True. It does feel like the way that Gamba have drafted is more kind of prioritized the and control. It's not the cute Daedalus builds anymore. Vampire, very far blast comes out. And this should be your first blood as they move in. Bolt way too late to save his own life. And they will secure both runes as a result. The bot lane, Dream tried to pressure, but he can't do this alone. Yeah, a bit of a snake, mistake from Gambit uh, oh. trying to go back again. Doing extremely good. Is? Against Ember Spirit, who picked up four bounties and got the first blood. Yeah, and, and instead he he's losing these trades. He needs to be careful. Uh, he, he, he's getting pretty low. The Flame God keeps him up and sustained. But GPK, oh, this like, is going to kill him. Yeah, these right clicks are too big. You have Fade Bolt, which reduces their damage. You have extra damage on Kankas. So pretty easy to play. But there it is. Hector is gone. Two bounties. And also he's level five. So three points in Bash. There's going to be... A lot of kill potential on this lane. Meanwhile, Vampire. Vampire is baiting Stinger in right now. GPK is waiting. Bottling up. Turns around and he's ready to bring him down. Right click away and we'll get the kill and save Vampire's life. Ember is really not a tower pushing mid. That's why I love to see Ember Spirit combined with one. Uh, Hector. Who has building damage, Hector. You're going to see him combined with death. Chris Luck does rotate up. First out of Remnant. Yeah. Sasha is way too tanky though. He could just right click him down. Vampire's here, Fate Bolt in two seconds. If he times this right as the Flame Guard ends, in fact, the right clicks might just do him in. Uh, okay, Vampire, Fate Bolted early. He still sees him. All right, final hit, there it is. Thank you very much, says Vampire, and I'll see you later. Oh, he gets out as well. And they know Rivet but, can't come back yet. Maybe we should stop nerfing the heroes. Maybe we just buff the other ones. But That's the, the new patch is going to be massive. There's going to be 7.0. Vibes probably. Nice snipe. What needs buff? It's better to buff things, you know. Don't ruin people's heroes. Just ruin their game. It's like the Zeus who just ruined whispers. The Bast. Okay. Chris Luck is still chasing GPK, by the way. But this haste is about to run out, so he needs to escape right now. Vampire couldn't. Wait, no, he gets it. Great fire blast out, and that's gonna be another kill for GPK. Did not see him coming with the lift. They had more than enough. Plus, and wait. fire blast stolen. In the bot lane, Whisper. There's gonna be a duel win for him. That's a quick duel. Bot lane, Dream, just baited in Whisper. GPK arrives to the TP and does have the Thunderbolt. Lightning Bolt rubber in two seconds. With the Thunderbolt's Wrath, gets the kill. Would a look out on Gambit so far, it's this Rubik and this Zeus. And once again, Rubik secures the rune stop. In fact, there's a boat coming in towards Grimstrike right now. Inkswell has been stolen as well. Vampire could chase him, but he's got the Fade Bolt and he's got the kill. Damage. He's Life diving. Stone. He might actually get a solo kill on. Yep, yep. goes to the duel. I think it's too early though. Not getting the procs in time and the chrono comes out. The problem is he caught FNG. Dream kind of panic chronoed a little bit there. The macropa goes down. FNG survives! He Wish gets the kill. <laughs> oh. Zoning macro. That's your offlane Kanka. Who has bone 1, four as well. Gold. They just throw out the stun. They have no way of protecting him. Hector and the Inkswell that was stolen by Vampire. Held on to it long enough. Thunder God's Wrath. X Schofield. Hope you like boats, because you're about to become a big fan. Try and shut down either the Zeus or go for the Chrono Man himself in the bot lane with the duel. The Stinger in the meantime, DPK just zapping him down and has got the Lightning Bolt to finish him off to then return to lane mechanics. And now one of those heroes might die. Ice buff comes out and... Uh, 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 I'm not sure. Was there an Ember Spirit there or just some runes from the gods? Lane a 10. They want to fight him right now and they might find him. Oh, the pings come out. Lift is there. X, Ray Fire Blast. Everything thrown onto him. You want CC? Here's your CC. They press the attack. Not in time, but just enough time to move away with the remnant. And now, Duel of the Zeus with the double duel coming out. They'll move through. They'll get one. We're better to get to here. The Chrono comes out. FNG. Hello! He Whoa. doesn't put down the Macropa. He died to the burn damage. And now they need to get the Void out of dodge. He'll move away in time. But I'm putting a ward here, there. So you can actually. You're not actually able to devour them that easily. No, but look, they straight away gamble. They do, they take in the strife. They straight away go back on the offensive. Find a kill on the wyvern and open up the jungle once more. Be the runes. X mark on the mid. There's and the combo. Can he blink out? No, he cannot. And now he's just finished. Lift just to make sure they say vampire. You get the kill because you have almost got your four star. That's why some people still try and run pudge. Lift, ice buff, macropa, and the torrent follow up will bring the ember down. 
TV show from Mars, whatever it was, where like he's woken up. He's clearly like he thinks he's in the past. He's time traveled back uh, like several months where Ember was good. Duel coming out too. Boys surviving this though long enough. No, he hits him down. The Chrono as well. He's going to stay alive. Hold and brace. We'll keep Rave King alive for the moment, but we'll be cleaned up once, probably twice in a second. As they back away the void, they keep him alive. They turn it against them. The double duel will not be there. At least Hector picks up a rune. Keep on farming even when you're dying. Nice buff. And the Macropar going down. Boat's coming in. Schofield. The scoff at his death because he can't stay alive and all the magic damage. Chase through Dream will move forward. Time dilation out. Dodges the stun. Ice Path stops Stinger from escaping though and even walks into it at the end as it's a double kill for GPK. Typically it's not in his favor, but that won't stop him. However, Whisper will be stopped by the Nimbus popping down on his head and killing him off. Please stop. This sounds dirty. I don't want it. Boat on a Wyvern. Something he didn't want. Reinforcements are coming in, but FNG's committed. Dragon on dragon action. As one goes down, will the other dragon fall? FNG throws down the ice bar. Moves away from the ink spot. He's staying alive. Not for long, though. Stroke taps onto him. Slight fist finishes him off, but he buys enough time to get Schlatzlo out. Actually, do something. They just placed the ward. Um, awkward. Chris Luck. Yeah, there you go. D-ward it. The Chrono, though. Chris Luck. He gets too greedy. They move him with the macro par. Winner's curse going down, but the damage is not enough. BKB, Chris Luck. Held up on the spot, trying to move away, but the Con Brace to heal him up. Now Hector going in, goes for the kill, Takira down. Dream BKB will keep him alive for the moment, but now they're moving in. Looking for the dual opportunity, but Whisper, not able to get off in time. Stopped by the Nimbus, they'll find a kill and return a Sting of Fools. But that's a one-for-one -one trade, and if you're Beast Coast, you're happy with that. However, yeah, they popped their BKBs, uh, Face of Sword got rooted at the exact same moment, hype it up, KP. They want more, Slash low. Down to half HP. He's a tanky bugger, though. They'll find him, though, with the Serum Chains chasing. Duel's gonna come out, they say, I want that win, but the lift. Rubik buying enough time that Duel won't be given over. Now the Nimbus going down the jump in. Dream able to turn it around. This is the GBK. Brings down one. They'll bring down the Wraith King once and they might get him twice. Void waiting on the return. Does time walk away? Movement in. Nice hero chains out. We'll kill off Rubik. Vampire down the back line and Chris Luck limping away on 50 HP. Plus, who are killing their own support. Okay, that is more like CIS. A little bit too fierce on the fighting and now BKB Dream moves around the tree line and kills off Schofield. However... FNG did go down to Hector in the mid lane solo. Double kill coming out. I don't know if he wants this fight though. This is hurting way too much. The Nimbus down. He's dead. Funny goes rough. Now the Inkspell won't go off as a result. Chris up BKB's dream. Time walk away. Going to be chased on him. Schlatch though though. Throws out the X. Goes for the kill and Stinger instead of helping his core. And no, the shrine. GPK. He goes for the kill instead of proccing the shrine for oh, his boys. Oh, he goes back to Nimbus. He does. And Schlatch though, he has the X. Chris Luck has no remnants. They'll clap him down with a tiebringer. Chase on through. GPK gets the kill. <laughs> just coming in. Ice path. They pinged it out. Torrent as well. Slowly going to whittle him down without really committing at all. Jump in. Dream. Needs to actually get a bash out. BKB from K1. Now the turnaround. Void. Getting low. Caught a brace though. A little stolen. Used against them. Now to keep Void up and alive. The bow is coming in. will turn around against Legion. And now Wraith King down as well. They still have the Chrono. Dream is ready to fight. He throws it down. And with Hector's death, this is looking pretty golden for Gambit. No buyback on the Wraith King either. Dead for 95 seconds. Moving in with the time dilation. Chasing on the Schofield. Where are the bashes? Are you going to hit them? No, you're not. Cold Embrace protects him, but Ice Buff. Jump in with the Remnant. Chris Luck goes deeper with it. The BKB. Now, we're going to use Stolen Whiskers to get some good enough to hold him in place. And when he comes out, the BKB is going to be in. The lift is going to be there. They jump him a little bit too early, but it's still good enough. 85 seconds dead. And this is looking about done and dusted. Yeah, this is not the target that you want to go for. It's a face of He has ages. He has Satanic, so... Uh, status resistance is there. Also, stolen golden brace to keep him alive there. Even if it wasn't there, I, I still think it wouldn't uh, make much of a difference. No, and I, I, I tell you what, Lacos, you know you're having a rough game when me as a commentator, I have to double check the Wyvern is on the Dire side and not the Radiant side because Vampire just played a better Wyvern in that fight than the Wyvern himself. Gotta be a little bit that's not a good sign. <laughs> no, that's that's usually quite awkward when it looks like it's 6v4. And that's not me saying Schofield is playing bad. I'm just saying Vampire is so on point in this game. There's a lot of good spells. Kill people with just position 4 or 5 and you can even kill a core with it. And that's a DD on a Void. Who has Chrono. I wouldn't recommend touching him. They break him, but Ice Buff comes out. They won't give it heavily under Wraith King, though, as he does have that reincarnate. Nimbus on the side, however, catches out Wyvern trying for a backstab. And now the Chrono jump in on the Ember. The buyback's going to come up, and it may be too late. They're trying to protect him with the Cold Embrace and the Macropy down as well. There it is. Glimmer Cape keeps him invisible. 
Ruin Dream up, but he's in a macro pass, so he's protected by his friendly neighborhood dragon movement in Inks. Well, Wraith King does stand out in the dream, but it's not good enough. The Wraith Fire Blast does throw out. But now with the BKB, Dream ready to hit once more. Torrent comes through. Winners Curse try and protect him and keep him alive. Remnant jump in, going pretty deep. But the boat's coming through. Gonna drag them back, kill off the Wraith King. He's dead and gone. No buyback either. They'll move in, and it looks like they'll be able to finish the game. As you see, Vampire spam out the remnants. He won't find anyone, but they'll turn around and find Chris Lark. And Beast Coast are crumbling. There's a GG comes out. Gambit take game one. It happened again. Yeah, I love the Zeus pickup from Gambit, man. He just dominated the game from the start. Had a good laning stage, played the lane extremely well. Got a couple of solo kills on Ember Spirit.